Hi folks, it's John Eisman from LastChanceAutoStore.com and today I'd like to share with you one of the vehicles that we uh, performed a Restomod restoration on. This um, is a 1974 Volkswagen Beetle and uh, what we wanted to do with this particular car is show potential clients all the things you can do to change or tweak or personalize a Volkswagen Beetle. So we started with a basic, this car was originally orange, um, it was a basic standard Beetle with not a lot of options. So um, the front end of the vehicle in 74 had really large bumpers and some people would say huge bumper shocks uh, that came through the front fenders. Um, big thick black dash pads and some people would say not the most desirable Beetle. So um, what we wanted to do is just modify this particular car and share with clients some of the things we can do. So we started with kind of a, a brighter paint finish. This is a Kawasaki Green. Uh, most of our paint finishes that we do here at LastChanceAutoRestore.com is, uh, is a standard single stage paint which is more authentic to the time period of Volkswagens being built. But with this particular car, we wanted it brighter, so we painted it a base clear paint finish. So once again, it's Kawasaki Green. Um, just some subtle things we did in the front end. Um, it's been lowered, so we've, we've dropped the spindles. They're two and a half inch drop spindles. We've replaced the, the drum brakes with a disc brake kit. So that's why the stance is lower to the ground. Uh, we changed the marker lights. We don't care for the really big, some people refer to them as the boat marker light. Um, so we, we reduced the size of the hole and we went with the smaller, like a 63 uh, beetle marker light. Just gives it a little bit cleaner look. With the headlights, we've replaced the regular sealed beam headlight with the newest H4 sealed beam, which is quite a bit brighter. Uh, so we've got, they look the same, but much brighter intensity at night and, and much safer driving. Um, you can see the stance obviously a little bit lower, cleaner look. Some people have suggested the car must be chopped and widened. Um, it's an optical illusion. Being lowered and the bumper being removed, it gives you a natural, more of a hot rod kind of look to it is what we think. Um, so what we've done in the, in the front here, you can see is what we like to do is finish off the carpet on the inside. Um, most people that upgrade the wheels with these spinsters like we've done uh, is they don't change the spare tire, they leave it a stock. We wanted to go with the nice alloy wheel here also. So it's just a nice touch when you open it up. Um, we've upgraded, you can see the washer nozzle in the center. That is something we've added. It's, a, it's an electronic uh, washer pump as opposed to relying on the air pressure of the spare tire. So it's just a subtle little upgrade. We have a cover to um, to hide the back of the dash where all the wiring and so on is. It's an aftermarket panel that fits in there. And then we've went with what they refer to as a salt and pepper carpet. So underneath there is your fuel tank and some wiring. And just to give it a cleaner look, uh, we've just added this carpet uh, set in the front. Um, on the front here, we've added these little eyebrows. A lot of people like them. Some people uh, don't care for that look. The nice thing is they're removable. These are uh, uh, stainless steel and high polish, so they're good quality. However, they're very easily removable. So if a client was gonna buy this car and didn't like those, um, they just pop right off the ring, so that's not a concern. As you come down the side of the car, uh, you'll see that we've got new chrome here. We've added a little bit of a stripe package with a Volkswagen logo on it. You can see the stance of the vehicle. We've lowered the rear, and as mentioned earlier, we've lowered the front two and a half inches, so it has a little bit different stance to it. Uh, we've added a little bit of, of fake chrome here. These are just plastic, um, but stock would normally come black in color, so we just added a little bit of chrome look there. We have new chrome handles and new exterior mirrors, and we've added some accents here uh, just to give it a little more and then gravel guards in the back. Um, you'll notice the front tires are a little bit smaller than the rear tires. Uh, the rear tires are a little bit larger, gives us better handling and a little bit uh, peppier feel uh, on the road. When we open the door here, you'll notice we've done quite a few things. First of all, before I open it, um, all traditional Volkswagen Beetles have a vent window here, a uh, little triangular window, and it's on a hinge. Uh, this is an aftermarket kit that we tried uh, where you remove all the factory um, glass and you use this kit, which is a single window. So once again, a little bit different appearance. So we've got that, and then when you go on the inside, we've changed the, I'll get on the other side here, we've changed the dashboard. The, typically this dash would have a thick, uh, black rubber uh, coating 
and there would be vents on either side of the speedometer. So what we've done is we've, we've uh, cleaned up the dashboard, we've painted the same body, same color as the body, uh, we've upgraded the speedometer to an electronic speedometer, and it's a digital readout with a white face. Um, the stereo, what we've done is we've increased or, or upgraded the stereo, and it's a 7 inch touch screen, and it flips up, and it also has built-in GPS. So it's kind of a neat system. It plays DVDs and so on. It has a navigation. You'll notice the steering wheel have upgraded. It's a mahogany wheel. Uh, they refer to it as a banjo style wheel. So uh, it just gives it a little bit different look. We went with the stock seat covers and uh, stock door panels on the inside. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we've done quite a few modifications in this engine, the 1600 dual port engine in Kermit. So what I'm going to do now, a lot of clients ask us, what does the engine sound like? Because we did a walk around the vehicle, but what does the motor sound like? And, and the exhaust note, what does it sound like? So I'm just going to start the car up and I'll come around to the side and uh, you can take a look of what it sounds like. So once again, what we've done is we've, uh, we've got the performance style exhaust on it and the dual car. So I'm just going to rev it up a few times so you can hear the exhaust note. As we come around the back side of the car, you'll notice once again the stance uh, being a little bit lower and no rear bumper, it does give you that illusion that it's lower and wider to the ground. Uh, once again, it's, it's stock roof height and we have not widened the fenders. These are stock fenders that we filled in the holes where the bumpers were. Um, we have this little aftermarket uh, piece that came from Volkswagen originally. Um, the main purpose of this, a lot of people say, wow, it's, is, it, is it a spoiler and does it help with the wind resistance as you're driving? I don't think so. Uh, the main purpose, it has a rubber gasket here and these louvers allow airflow. Um, and the main purpose of this is to keep water, rainwater, uh, from coming inside and setting on top of the engine. So this is something that's easily removable. The bolts go through the vents in the back. And then our tail lights, we've changed the wedge style large Hella factory tail light to these aftermarket uh, short dome style and they're smoked or tinted. So it just once again gives a little bit different look. And then we've tinted uh, with the privacy glass type window tint in the rear. And then upgrade the exhausted engine. So as I lift up the engine lid, um, we started with a normal 1600 dual port engine. Uh, and then we've tweaked it. So we've added this uh, dual carburetor system with a dual intake as opposed to a single intake system. Um, you'll see here with the distributor, um, inside that distributor, instead of being the stock points condenser or rotor, um, what we've done is we've, we've increased or upgraded this to the flamethrower brand and it's electronic. So being an electronic distributor, it eliminates the points. So it's just one less thing in terms of maintenance you would need to be concerned about later on. Um, we've changed, add a little bit of bling. This pulley would normally be just a black plain steel colored pulley. Uh, and then down below, uh, we've changed that pulley to a balanced pulley which gives the engine a little more power. We've had a little bit of chrome accents to it. Uh, we have uh, a higher intensity coil uh, to go along with the flamethrower distributor assembly. Uh, new fuel pump, the engine's been rebuilt, and we've added this oil filler um, lid here with a, a billet style as opposed to the old style factory filler, which has a little tube and quite a large, awkward, um, uh, more of an oval shape filler, and they typically will corrode and leak oil at the base of that. So we like to change them to this upgrade, which gives you the billet style and it screws right in. So um, trouble-free driving, it has uh, the Volkswagen aftermarket header exhaust system. 
The tailpipes are obviously larger and the exhaust note is a little bit throatier, a little bit deeper sound. So uh, it kind of goes along with the whole theme of this, of this car. So as we come along this side, uh, once again, you see the, the tall gravel guards in the back. This car normally would have came with just a short little aluminum style where this is a, a true high polished stainless steel. Once again, you see the, uh, the hand cooked tires, they're brand new. You can see the stance of the car, the dark window tint, uh, new running boards, and once again, the disc brakes in the front. So it's kind of a fun vehicle. Um, we nicknamed it Kermit. So once again, it's a 1974 Volkswagen Beetle. You have a lot of fun with this car, and um, this is now available for sale. So you can visit our website. It's lastchanceautorestore.com, or you can email me, and it's john at lastchanceautorestore.com. And thank you for watching.